President Biden, Governor Lermont, Secretary Mayorkas, Admiral Schultz, public and community leaders, distinguished alumni, military veterans, faculty, staff, and coaches, Corps of Cadets, family and friends. Good morning and welcome to the home of the Officer Corps for the United States Coast Guard. To the great class of 2021, good morning and congratulations. You did it. You have navigated the 200-week journey. You have led the Corps of Cadets through a global pandemic, and you have sprinted through the tape and have arrived here today at the starting blocks for what I am certain will be an amazing journey. This is certainly a great day for the Coast Guard Academy and for our Coast Guard. I'd like to take this opportunity to recognize the Coast Guard Academy Class of 2020. So many colleges and universities are holding multiple graduations this spring to recognize this year's graduates, as well as the graduates of the Class of 20 who missed out last year. We don't have that privilege in the United States Coast Guard because the officers who graduated virtually last year are standing the watch across the nation and literally around the globe today and the cadets assembled before you will be joining them in the weeks to come. Would you please join me in a round of applause for the members of the class of 2020 who are standing the watch. <laughs> Moms and dad and the family support network that was so important to the class of 21 throughout their academy experience, thank you. You were with this class every step of the way during a period like no generation of family has ever been through before. Your guidance and your support allowed these cadets to receive a well-earned diploma and a hard-earned commission. I hate, hope you take great pride in what they have accomplished and what they will accomplish in the years to come. Mr. President, thank you so much for presiding over today's ceremony. It is an honor and a privilege to have you on board our service academy, sir. Sir, the women and men you see assembled before you are ready in all respects to serve as leaders of character in our service. They are prepared to uphold their oath to protect and defend our great nation. And I can attest with great certainty that they are ready to serve wherever and whenever our nation needs them. Thank you again for being with us today, sir. Class of 21, your class motto is Nas Future Fakimus. Translated, we are the future. Today, you begin to live your motto. I am excited to see what your class will accomplish for our service and for our nation. It has been the honor and privilege of my life to serve as your superintendent for the past two years, and I wish you fair winds and great success. Finally, Congratulations to our amazing faculty, coaches, and staff who prepared the class of 2021, to the family and loved ones who supported them, and the nation who will benefit from their service. We truly have much to celebrate, and as we like to say around the 103 acres, Semper Paratus and forever, Go Bears! Of the 240 young men and women graduating here today with the class of 2021, seven are international cadets who have proudly represented their nations while greatly enriching our academy and our Corps of Cadets. At this time, we invite these international cadets, along with members of their national delegation, to stand when their country and names are called. These graduates will return to their countries and serve with distinction in their armed forces. From Georgia, Sandro Stachese and Nicolos Tevildiane. <laughs> From the Philippines, Daisy Ann Lasaka Atian, Jenison Kangurungan Basilio, Diane. 
Shira Lansangan Boswell and Eric Joseph Dianco Noble. And from Sri Lanka, Wishwa Fonsaka. Please join me in a round of applause. Thank you, and you may be seated. I now have the privilege of introducing this year's distinguished graduate. The distinguished graduate is the cadet who graduates with the highest military precedence average, which includes the academic, military, and physical components of the entire 200-week program. It is with great pride that I introduce this year's distinguished graduate, first class, Sean Seiler. First class Seiler is from Tucson, Arizona. His parents, Steve and Kim Seiler, are with us today. He is a government major with a concentration in politics, policy, and law. During his senior year, he was part of the International Law of Armed Conflict Capstone Group, where his syndicate tied for first place in the 19th competition on the Law of Armed Conflict and in International Humanitarian Law for Military Academies. At the competition, First Class Siler played an integral role in advising a military commander on complex legal and geopolitical issues through cooperation with more than nine other nations. During second class year, Cadet Siler went on exchange at the United States Air Force Academy and proudly represented the United States Coast Guard as a member of Squad 26, where he was able to forge inter-service relationships and learn about a sister service while simultaneously sharing the traditions of the United States Coast Guard. In response to the significant impact the COVID-19 pandemic imposed on students, First Class Siler teamed up with First Class June Wenzel to create a remote tutoring program that allowed U.S. Coast Guard Academy cadets to assist students from local elementary schools with academics and mentorship. This program provided critical support to the local community during a tumultuous time and allowed cadets to continue serving their community in the COVID environment. Upon graduation, First Class Siler will depart to Washington, D.C. and report to the U.S. Coast Guard Cyber Command. It is my pleasure to introduce the distinguished graduate, First Class Cadet, Sean Siler. 